Hello and welcome to Go Omaha. Our city is growing fast and we are excited to keep you up to speed on the best places to shop, eat, take your family and have fun. Today we will show you how to serve a show stopping holiday meal. We'll take you behind the scenes of Maverick Hockey. You'll meet an organization providing quality, accessible health care to all Omahans. And we'll introduce you to some of the city's most innovative startup businesses that are new and one that has been wildly successful for decades. One of the highlights of the holidays is a meal shared with family and friends. But cooking that meal requires a lot of work and time that could be spent with your loved ones. There is an alternative, someone else can cook while you can focus your energy on more important things. Really one in 10 hams are good enough to be a honey baked ham and good enough for our customers. 26 points they have to pass in order to even get to be a honey baked ham. Um, and then our whole process as far as how our hams are prepared, um, our hams are slow smoked and cooked for 24 hours. Honey Baked Ham has been in existence for over 60 years. Um, Harry Hansler invented the spiral slicer back in 1957, and we still, to this day, every ham is spiral sliced on the slicer. The hams are all fully cooked to slice, glazed, ready to eat, so it's really just open up our gold foil and, and it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything to it. And people appreciate that, especially at holiday time when they're busy doing other things, um, that they can count on Honey Baked, and they do. This year for our holidays, we um, upgraded our, all of our sides um, to new recipes, higher quality. Um, we also have um, these new ones are loaded smashed potatoes, which I've tried, which are really good. We have our, all of our sauces that we have here in store that we use on our sandwiches, like our hickory honey mustard and savory mayo, which are my favorite. We have a cafe, so we do do sandwiches and soups. Um, we also do business to business catering, gifting for the holidays where um, customers or companies will call and order hams for their employees or their clients. We do gift cards of course, people love to give gift cards too for the holidays. Turkey breasts, they come in roasted or smoked. Um, and then we put the glaze on, they're all fully cooked, sliced and glazed as well. And then we also do whole turkeys in, two, in three different types as well, roasted, smoked and Cajun. Christmas is an exciting time for Honey Baked Ham. Um, we get a lot of new people coming in to try us for the first time and then our regular customers that come back every holiday and hopefully we'll get some new people in to try Honey Baked Ham this holiday. We have a, our local website that people can go on and they can reserve their ham for pickup in the store and then they come in here and actually pick it up um, since we're the only location here in the state of Nebraska. Numerous times I've hand delivered hams to people here in town or outside of town. I actually live in Lincoln, so I go back and forth and do that as well to customers down in Lincoln. Um, anything we can do to help people enjoy Honey Baked Ham for the holidays. My favorite part of the job is being part of people's holidays or special occasions. Um, it's just nice to be able to watch them walk out the store with a smile on their face knowing that we're providing them with the best quality meat or sides that we can offer, whether it's just their centerpiece of their meal or snacking along the way throughout the whole holiday. It's just nice being a part of their holiday and that's my favorite part. That looked delicious. It may be time to start a new holiday tradition with a meal so mouthwatering and so easy. All right, if you love holiday decor, getting everything ready for the season, we have one more time-saving tip for you. Nebraska Furniture Mart. With their vast selection of appliances, furniture, technology, home and holiday decor, even toys, this may be the only stop you need to make to cross everything off your holiday gift list. You know, we're always trying to offer customers something new and we want to try to make NFM a, a one-stop shop. We've got a great new selection and it's new to us, uh, but I think people will be surprised of all the things that we have. We've remodeled this area specifically uh, to the entrance, so when those kids come in, they are just as excited. Uh, 
You know, it's like a Disneyland for them. So we really wanted to capitalize on all ages of the family and fun, not just, you know, home style, but also to kind of enjoy for the kids as well. Gaming is really big this year. A lot of things going on. The new 4K TVs, computers, there's a lot of things going on. What's been going on over the last number of years is home entertainment. Home entertainment has been exploding. As people are going out less and less and spending more at home, this is their entertainment piece. Most customers have been trained when they go into a store to have a limited selection, that they'll have their day-to-day -day daily driver computers. This is the one they'll use for school that their, uh, their kids will use to just get on the internet. Get on the internet. Over the last year, we have made a concentration of making sure we have high performance machines that'll work for gaming, but also for advanced video editing and photo editing, 3D CAD and modeling design. For those nerds like myself that enjoy gaming machines that are used to building their own machines, uh, when you look into a lot of our machines, we have those features that they're looking for, such as a closed loop liquid cooling, those LED cases. So instead of paying all that money out, risking something going bad, uh, and then not having any support after the fact. This is an advantage of uh, buying a, a machine at a retail location, but especially at Nebraska Furniture Mart. With our long-term no interest financing and with our warranty that we have available, it just a, ends up being a better deal when all is said and done. Here's a great thing about Nebraska Furniture Mart. There's something new and different every day. We are continually looking for new things to offer to our customers. So in every store, every area there's something different and interesting. And it's not just the styles and the electronics and the furniture but also to continue on the traditions over and over. So again we have Legos but we also have family board games so in addition to that toys is going to be there from when they start as a baby uh, to when they're leaving for college. Probably the biggest jump that we've seen has been the apps that play with each other. That I have the ability to use a uh, voice app like an Amazon piece or a Google piece to control another product. So these speakers will be planted throughout your house. You'll use an application on your phone. You'll be able to pick each one what they're playing. So I can have somebody listening to Pandora in one room. They can be listening to the radio in another room, listening to what's on TV in another room. People know you're going to get a good deal here and we've got all the stuff but you're also gonna have a nice shopping experience and that's really important to us. I love shopping local and with bargains and selection all in one place, I'm sold. Coming up next, we will introduce you to some of the rising stars in Omaha's red hot startup scene. Stay right there. Welcome back. Omaha has a history of nurturing local startups. Nebraska Furniture Mart is a homegrown business that started in 1937 and developed into a regional retail powerhouse. The Holland Performing Arts Center recently hosted some of today's local innovative startups as they competed in the Get Started Omaha event. This is Get Started Omaha, and it is one of many that we've had here in Omaha and across the United States in all of our markets, and it's about celebrating the startup mentality and startup initiative in our community. Every successful corporation was at one point a startup. We're really fortunate in Omaha that we've got wonderful, big, established firms that are really motivated to help those, those incumbent next generation companies. But I don't think we've ever had more momentum in the earliest phase of starting up. When a major corporate stalwart stands up and said, you matter and your business matters and I'm going to bet on you even early, it's a huge deal to not only these five finalists but all of the startups that are here tonight. The winner gets some money. They also get um, a, an entire an advertising package that goes with that and the consultative time from a lot of those professionals, which I think is very, very valuable. Spaceworthy is an app that will connect you with all of the resources, people, and information about the items in your life. Each piece of art is valued different based on the artist. Essentially, we connect people who want to buy art with the people who create art. Stature is a custom tailored clothing solution for tall women. So basically, we work with a tailor to meet you wherever you are. We take over 15 different measurements to ensure the piece that you order is fitted exactly for you. 
We use artificial intelligence and sensors uh, deployed in product displays to help manufacturers understand what happens in retail stores. And it's interesting that oftentimes there's so much light being shined on the far west, far east coast, but I think that there's not a light, not a light shined in the middle, but that's where you can see true gems. This is the first platform to allow buyers to proactively channel demand to sellers. It's about perfecting the pitch, but it's also about letting the rest of the community know that you're there. That's really what we want to do. We want to be the connecting piece. This is really awesome. There's so many people here, and I know they all need our product, so I'm really hopeful that they're all our first customers. What if you could have that piece of art you've always admired but never dreamed of owning? Now you can. I'm excited to pitch. Um, I'm just happy to be out here. It's a, it's a great atmosphere. I'm excited to get up there. I'm excited to be able to talk to everybody and actually talk about stature. Clothing does so much for confidence. And in the world we're in, we need to continue to empower these beautiful women to stand tall, walk proud, wear heels, and rule the world. I mean, big businesses are great. We need them. But I think startups is where the innovation happens. So you never know. In two or three years, you could have some amazing people coming out of this wonderful event. We can use that money to purchase marketing and dollars so that we can uh, build traffic to the site and sell more product. The thing about Omaha and our, our Omaha entrepreneurs is that we're gritty and we find problems that are near and dear to our heart. We're passionate and that's why I love every single one of the founders that you know are also in the collaborative and are also in our ecosystem. So it's just, it's, it's humbling. I wish this event happened four times a year as opposed to one time a year, but we're really, really grateful. It's just so neat to see them all rally around their organizations and they bring everyone with them and it's just a great experience all the way around and it's truly a celebration of innovation. The entrepreneurial ecosystem in Omaha is truly world class. Congratulations to all of the entrepreneurs who competed in the Get Started Omaha event. Coming up, we'll show you a local organization working hard to keep our community healthy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Healthcare is a hot topic, and we are lucky in Omaha to have One World Community Health Centers, working hard to keep us all a little healthier by providing a broad range of medical, dental, and social services, all in one place. We welcome everyone, and we want everyone to feel comfortable at One World. One World is one of the best kept secrets. Uh, we have high quality care that is proven. We're in the top 2% of community health centers in the nation, and that's not something that comes easily. We pack everything in one location. We have 11 locations, but within those locations, we have great medical care, but not only medical care, we have dental care, we have behavioral health, we have affordable medications. When you can't afford your co-pays and you can't afford the cost of medications, you need help. And we are the place to come to get that help. We understand that you need to take control of your health and your well-being, and part of that is being able to afford your medications. We are able to purchase medicines less than other pharmacies and pass those discounts on to our patients. Our goal is to treat people um, as a preventive dental care in order to prevent more costly dental treatment and keep people out of pain instead of coming back to our emergency clinic in pain. The ability to watch people grow in terms of how they think, uh, their skills that they use in terms of coping, and just uh, Watching them take charge of their life is something that's very exciting to me and for me to be able to be part of their journey is something that I greatly appreciate. I've always been very familiar with One World. I came here as a patient when we moved to the United States when I was six. I've came here and only here ever since then. Everyone is always so kind and so sweet and you get to know everybody once you start coming. It's everybody gets to know you. They're like, hey, how are you? How's this? How's that? And so I've always loved the environment and the feeling of it. 
Entonces el día de hoy le vamos a hacer un examen. We can do English and Spanish and 48 others, uh, whatever you would need. We have transportation services, LGBT, QIA services as well. Um, we really are a place where everyone is welcome. I love to see people overcome their challenges, learn how to cope with challenges that continue, and, and literally, you know, heal from within. The more you go to your physician and have at least a visit a year, the more likely you are to be healthy and succeed, do well in school, and do well in a career or in your job, and that's what we want for all of Omaha and everyone that lives here. Once you find us, uh, you never want to leave. One World Community Health Centers, where all are welcome. Where all are welcome. Where all are welcome. Donde todos están bienvenidos. Where all are welcome. What a great organization and an important asset for our community. Now stay right there when we come back, a behind the scenes look at Maverick Hockey. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back. It is no secret that Nebraska is home to some of the greatest fans in college sports. And here in Omaha, Maverick Hockey is already off to a great start. We spent some time at Baxter Arena with coach Mike Gabinet, the inspiration and motivation behind the Mavs. First and foremost, I want to develop a team that has really good high character players that are ready to compete every single night. With the conference we play in, it's really important that uh, with all the talent we'll face out there that we're highly competitive and the guys have a good work ethic and, and show up every single night. So we're really trying to recruit the, the type of kids that are willing to put the work in that it takes to be successful at this level. The three things that we like to talk about all the time is working hard for each other, so always supporting the play, supporting each other on the ice, playing smart, um, making the correct decisions consistently over and over again that allow our teams a chance to success. And we really want to out-compete teams. Uh, those are things in our control. I think competes a little bit different than hard work. You can have guys that can work hard, but uh, out-compete somebody else and win one-on-one -on -one battles is very important for us to have team success. I think the biggest thing is just going to be recruiting. You know, really, with nowadays recruiting being so young in the NCAA hockey, where a lot of times recruits are three to four years old, just to develop a good foundation of players um, that have the talent, that compete, the work ethic, and the character uh, to allow us to have success in this very tough conference. Our staff's been working extremely hard to continue to identify top prospects out there that can come in and contribute right off the bat. One of the strengths in the strengths of our team, I think, is our, uh, our depth. It's also one of our challenges. We don't really have that kind of elite player right now that's standing out, but just early in the season here, we've had a couple of young freshmen with Taylor Ward and Chase Primo, and, and we have Tyler Weiss that's yet to play it, that's been injured, uh, that can maybe are a little bit more high-profile uh, scorers that should come in and contribute some offense. So those are good guys to keep an eye on. I think it's one of the nicest buildings in the country. Um, that's something we talk about as a team. We want to make this an extremely hard building to play against. Uh, we love when our fans come out and get excited. I know the guys talk about in the locker room all the time, feeling the energy of the building and feeling the energy of the fans. And I remember my playing days back here when we played at the Civic and when the crowd's going, you kind of don't get tired out there. Your adrenaline starts pumping. So uh, we want to make sure we're recreating that in the Baxter Arena here and, and our fans do a great job supporting our team. I think it's something we talk about all the time when we have recruits in town, just the amount of support we get in the community and from the students and there's no professional teams here in Omaha and I find they really rally behind their college sports uh, here in Omaha. So that's something we share with our recruits and uh, when they come into town, how special a place this is and you're a special part in the community and with our university. So definitely something we, we let our recruits know about and sell to our recruits. I'd say all the buildings are pretty tough to play in, but 
definitely, you know, obviously Denver and Minnesota Duluth and North Dakota winning the national championship the last three seasons. Uh, those are especially tough places to go play. In. We get possession of the clock now. We'll I love players. Omaha, uh, having played here and been a part of the program, and now have the ability to give back to the program and and uh, help lead the program. It's it's very near and dear to my heart and moving my family back to Omaha and coming back here and seeing Baxter Arena and seeing the campus and just reflecting all the special memories it's brought to me and all the pride it's brought me. I want to make sure that we're making people in the community and the university extremely proud of the program and make sure it's going in the right direction. Go Mavs! It looks like it's going to be another exciting season. And you can watch Mavs hockey or UNO men's or women's basketball live right here on your view, Cox Channel 1013. Or you can find programs like Go Omaha or Mavs hockey anytime. Use your Contour 2 remote and simply say find Go Omaha or Mavericks hockey. You'll see a list of upcoming showtimes or the programs on On Demand. That's all we have for you today. I'm Brandi Peterson reminding you to get out and go Omaha.